Hello everyone, this is Reason with another episode of Starship Evil. Uh, I'd like to apologize for not posting up a video last week. I was extremely busy and uh, just didn't have time. You know, work and stuff. And then I had some family issues that came up. But anyway, uh, today I'm going to give you an updated tour of this behemoth, the Dragon Ship. Which is over 300, is it 200 and what, um, something meters long or something like that. It's basically about the size of a battle cruiser sort of a thing. Roughly, anyway. So there's some new features with this ship. Not much has changed in the bow. There are several entry points for anyone who is wondering how to board the ship. Um, it's got lower decks. It has four hangars. Um, two which are operational. Or three that are operational. No, it, yeah. It's two hangars. Yes, it, it has two, hang two hangars. Sorry. It has the main um, light craft hangar, which... Okay, that's a piece to, which is this under part here, which opens up internally. And then you go to the back of the ship, and then you have, all oh right, these are supposed to be shuttle bay hangers, or fighter hangers, or something like that. I, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. All this inside is being rebuilt. So I'm thinking, yeah, this is going to be the engine core of the ship, or the engine room, or whatever you want to call it. New at the at the back is the shuttle bay has been changed from a flat bottom to a dome, and this whole thing opens <laughs> opens completely up. And then you go into the huge shuttle bay, which. This could probably hold a decent sized ship, and then we've got, this ship has four cargo, cargo bays. Cargo bay four, which is in fact the largest cargo bay, and the newest section I've been working on. Cargo bay four has a loading ramp, which is also new to the section of the ship. So this ship is capable of planetary landing, which, you know, this is, this, it would be designed for, uh, the cargo bay is more for troop vehicle loading and stuff like that. Well, whatever you can fit through this door is what it can, what it will load, which is, if I do believe, uh, three large blocks. And then it closes right up. You shut the uh, airtight seal, and that's it. That's the cargo bay. <clears throat> Go through the bulkhead into fuel storage for the entire ship, which um, this might get reworked. I'm not sure what. Come out of fuel storage, and then you're in the um, engine room, which the engine room is being rebuilt. Well, the engines are being redone. I still have quite a lot of work to do to it. Um, I didn't like the uh, old design of the engines. I thought they were just pretty crappy. Oh, well, they did look like shit, so I redesigned them. Uh, beyond this is the cargo... Oh, no, this isn't the cargo bay. Uh, oh, right, right. New section of the ship. Uh, okay, in here is the uh, sub command, which it, there's only one way in and one way out. Oh, what did I hit? I have no idea. Uh, hit something. Ah, there we go. So, yeah, it opens up. And then you have an elevator, which goes up to your main hall, 
and then here's subcommand. And this goes back to the uh, main or semi main or I guess you would call this the uh, what is it the main hall or the main um, walkway or uh, whatever the terminology used for it. Anyway this is the uh, we'll just call it the main hall. It goes from one end of the ship to the other and connects so it's the primary hall I guess you'd call it. And it goes from stern to bow basically. So not much has been designed. We'll go down to the next level. Um, I'm not sure if I showed you the medical area, but medical science, all that fun stuff. These doors are supposed to be automatic. Um, <clears throat> you'll notice the names of uh, that I use are. Uh, <laughs> if you if you're if you really look closely at some of the names of the uh, doctors and commanding officers you'll only those who uh, are mature will understand what the names actually mean but yeah so <laughs> it's kind of a joke yeah still a lot of a uh, racism towards humans. Now, Zorkians, I'm sure I've mentioned this many times, but Zorkians do not like humans at the least and are extremely racist towards them. So that's what that's all about. You'll see that throughout this ship. Humans are considered the lesser species. Alright, just goes back into... Okay, this is the cargo ha the main ha Yeah, this is a large hangar, which hasn't had much change. Really there hasn't been too much changes other than that some exterior work along the ship. Um, this ship has seven decks. Seven or is it eight? No, it's seven. Go into here. Okay. One of the main features of the ship is the bar. Yes, it has a full liquor bar and you can buy your drinks and then yeah the only one of the few parts of the ships where humans are allowed but human seating it's not a bad little bar I mean it's definitely a oh sorry about that uh, hit my mic there <clears throat> Nice little area. Then you go down to the crew decks. All back this bulkhead's the crew decks. And then here you have a, a gym. Nice sized gym or training room. Pretty decent size actually. You could play a good game of basketball in there if you wanted. And then what ship is not complete without a pool? That's right folks. A pool. So if the crew feels like going for a little dip, they can certainly do that. It's probably one of the few starships in Starship Evil that actually has a pool. Of course, I think there's a couple other guys who've done something similar. Still a lot of unfinished business on the vessel. Uh, lower, Like I said, more lower decks that don't go into anything at all. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Ah, oh, got something in my throat here. Trying to remember what else is there besides all this BS. Okay, the main galley. No changes, and really there hasn't been a whole lot of changes throughout the ship at all. Not this part. Your um meeting room or meeting rooms or what do they call them? Um, Briefing rooms, I believe. War room and then the briefing room too. The war room is basically for like 
war plans and stuff like that, battle schemes or whatever. Uh, officer's deck. Oh, this is one of the officer's um, lounge. It has a second floor. A small second floor for the officers. Yeah, this is quite a nice room actually. It's got your bed, little living area, and washroom and shower. And same thing with on the other side, human bridge officer, deck officer. Strange to see that in this in this starship. And then you go back here, which loops around. Um, transporter room, which I've already showed that. And then, yeah, the uh, armory and stuff. And then you've got the bridge deck, which, of course, Reason's Quarters, or Captain's Quarters, which I've already just shown all this. And not much has really changed in here. Sort of all the same. This opens up. It has a skylight. Our lighting. One of these buttons opens it. There it is. Opens up. Nice big skylight. Or blast door, so you can see. Anyway, um, not really much to show off other than those little aspects of the ship. I haven't done a whole lot of extra work to it, unfortunately. Just been really busy. Like, there's, there's lots of little pieces of the ship that's coming along. I mean, this section here is all new. This is going to be more parts of the ship, because I took it. And I'm going to extend the, make the little area in here bigger, the engine room a lot larger. Which you can get up on uh, these. And I think I'm going to build the cells for it, actually, instead of just have these as the engines. And these will just be, uh part of the ship which the nacelles will probably be on top or protruding on an angle I'm not sure how I'm going to design the nacelles for it but you know this is just a little I guess you could call this like there's all sorts of power I don't know, stuff will get moved around stuff will get rebuilt anyway folks that's the dragon ship mm. Not really much to see. Ah, here we go. Okay, yeah. So it's about the size of a star cruiser. Or something like that, anyway. Comparison to most other ships, this ship's very large. Has a decent amount of shielding. It has no weapons at the moment. Those will come later. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short and sweet little video. I do apologize for being late and uploading, but I just haven't had a whole lot of time. And, you know, life takes priority over Starship Evil. Anyway, folks, um, I guess you've noticed I did away with the annoying intro. Um, honestly, I hated it. it. It was just giving me, it was just annoying me. So I got rid of the intro. If you have any ideas for new intros, please leave a comment, let me know, or you can uh, also uh, get a hold of me on Discord. Um, I'm on the, um, the uh, oh, what's it called? I can't think of it now. I'm so brain dead. <laughs> anyway, folks, uh, I'm going to cut this here, so I'll make this short and sweet. I am Reason, and we will see you in space.